Good morning. We are here for a wonderful day, for a wonderful celebration. Daniel Lunkor has decided to be baptized, and he's always been a part of our family. He's always been a part of who we are, but he's making it official today. Amen. Few people work as hard in the church as Daniel. Mm. One of the first people here every morning. Amen. Setting up the church, getting it ready for all of you. Let's give the Lord a hand for moving in Daniel's life. Now, Daniel grew up in the church. And when it came time to prepare for baptism, even though he grew up in the church, we did a full course of study. So I want to ask you, Daniel, have you studied and believed the, the teachings of the church? Yes. And you know my other question, right, everyone? Daniel, do you love Jesus? Yes. Amen. You've heard yes to both of those? Yes. Kosley, you're my witness? Yes, I am your witness. <laughs> Can I have a motion to officially make Daniel a member of the Solid Rock Seventh-day Adventist Church? Amen. A second? All in favor? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to pray for Daniel. Bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this decision. I thank you for this life. Daniel is truly amongst us one of the hardest working servants you have. He's faithful, he's true. He even comes out to our prayer and fasting times and has spoken at them. And in Daniel, we find a person who cares about people, who cares about the church. And most of all, Father, he cares about you. Father, I am glad that Daniel is making this decision today. I am glad that his father has been able to join him to witness this today. And Father, it is worth waiting for. But Father, as Daniel makes this decision, I ask that you anoint him afresh. And I say afresh because you clearly have anointed this young man already. But I pray that you anoint him afresh. I pray that you anoint him with what Elijah had, a double portion of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that you make him a mighty witness for you, a mighty warrior for you, that no matter what trials, what troubles, what difficulties he faces in life, that the Holy Spirit will bless him, guide him, and be upon him. Father, I thank you for this, and I trust you in this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As Daniel exited the pool, I heard, as I stood behind this screen, a very passionate appeal from Pastor Coastley. And I just want to add a little bit more to that appeal in the face of the great witness we just saw in Daniel. I know there are people who need to make that decision. Mm -hmm. I know, because I know you. I know there are people ready to make that decision, who need to make that decision, and they need to make it now. 
And I know that there may be people here that I don't know or know well, and maybe the Holy Spirit through the testimony of Daniel and the testimony of the Word and the testimony of music is speaking to you. I know this, that at the end of the millennium, only those connected to Jesus live forever. I know this. We will be caught up in the air together. I know this. On the other side of the millennium, there's no pain, there's no sorrow, there's no suffering. And there's no more sea. There's no more division. In a minute, the screen's going to come down, and Coastly and Marvin are going to give us a rendition of Daniel's favorite hymn. And I would pray that everyone in this room thoughtfully think about their commitment to Jesus. And if your commitment is strong to Jesus, just reaffirm it in your heart. As Coastly already told you, we all should check to be a follower of Jesus. Just make that decision again today. But if you have not made that decision, if you have not made the decision to be baptized, if the Holy Spirit is tugging at your heart, I pray will not delay because the things I have seen in the last month last nine months that I have shared with you have shocked me no man know what the day or the hour but Jesus said when you see these things lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh these waters are waiting and although our baptistry leaks and it does <laughs> although our deacons have done a good job to keep it from leaking today we will fill it up as many times and let it leak as many times as we need to so that we all get into the kingdom. I'm going to ask them to put down the screen. Coast Lee, Marvin, you guys take it away. Sing along with them and make your decisions. You still have your car.